the Earth. Scientists have tracked something strange inside the Earth and unusual, yet quite large. There are two huge structures that they can make up 3 to 9 percent of the planet's total volume. Scholars and scholars they don't know what these areas might actually be and how they found themselves deep down in the Earth, but they think it could be the remains of an ancient planet. Structures are located under Africa and under the ocean peaceful, in the lowest part of the Earth's mantle, which directly adheres to the outer core of our planet. Intriguing structures of size continuity lies at a depth of nearly 3,000 kilometers, almost half road to the Earth's core. Scientists don't know what they can be and aren't there direct ways to find out. The deepest hole that humanity he ever dug it up called it. Super Deep Kolsky Well, which reaches 11,034 meters below sea level, and the total length of the well is 12,262 meters. Recently, Chinese engineers began work on a 10 km deep well. That's quite a lot, but it's still far from the structures you've uncovered. The scientists remain there for the use of seismic waves and their meticulous analysis. Two large scale structures can be from 3 to up to 9% of the total volume of our planet. Of course at the moment we do not have the technical capabilities to take a closer look at them. So, if you want to learn more about these strange areas, scholars must use the intermediate methods. They have one very useful here a technique called Cesare Mass CT. Association with earthquakes is here as much as possible it's basic. When such shocks occur, Seismic waves spread it's in all directions. If we examine them from several places on the surface at the same time, watching how they diverge, we are able to create the exact map of the interior of the Earth. This is possible thanks to delays or distortion of seismological waves. Different density of material in the interior of the Earth it affects the speed of seismic waves moving through them which allows investigate the interior of the planet. This is through seismic tomography to scientists two unusual areas in the Earth's coat were traced. The discussed above the method gives you the ability to easily see them, because seismic waves they dissipate in these places much more slowly than in the surrounding ones the space. The structure under Africa, which was named Tuzo, it is about 800 kilometers high which gives us as many as 90 Mount Everests. The question is, what are these areas? And unfortunately so far science is not able to give an unequivocal answer. The only thing so far, we know about them, that their density is much higher than theirs the environment, and therefore it is concluded that they can consist of a completely different the material. However, when looking for answers, we must be content with theories. It is possible that it is nothing but the next layers of the shell oceanic, which is a result of subduction accumulated in this place by its a billion years. Another concept is literally not from this earth. Because he assumes, that it is Thea. Or at least its parts. What is Thea? The hypothetical a planet the size of Mars that was about 4.5 billion years ago was supposed to hit the Earth, and from its fragments the Moon was to form. In the year 2021 even a simulation was carried out in an attempt to determine whether it was fragments of this planet they are in the Earth. It turned out that it was possible. And then this concept it has already been considered in studies from two years ago. Protoplanetary disk in the Orion Nebula detected an important molecule for the creation of life. Methyl carbocation is an impermanent particle that it is the building block of more complex compounds based on coal. According to the scientists, it plays an important role in the creation of many other molecules that they have fundamental importance to life on Earth. Thanks to the space telescope James Webb. JWST, 
detected methyl carbocation in the young star system. Known as D203-506, which is located in the Orion Nebula, about 1,350 years light from the Earth. Chemicals based on carbon are the basis all life, at least as we know it. They are especially interesting for astrobiologists who are trying to broaden their knowledge of this, how life originated and developed on Earth and how and where, possibly it could develop in other parts of the cosmos. Now with the observation developed with JWST, scientists found methyl carbocation in the disk the protoplanetary surrounding the young star in the system D203-506. Led by astronomer Olivier Byrne of the University of Warsaw Toulouse in France team took a closer look closer to the Orion Nebula, registered through the JWST medium infrared spectrometer. There they discovered the puzzling lines and species that can ultimately be best explained by presence carbolic methyl carbolation. Researchers detected them in the dust and gas disk that spins around the young red dwarf, and in this type of protoplanetary disks they give birth there are, among others, planets. The solar system was also born from such a disk the protoplanetary. So studying the disks around other stars can help us understand how exactly our planetary system was created and how it was created here, life. I'm sorry. Although methyl carbocation is not an essential ingredient for the rise of life, it is scientists who believe it helps build more complex the carbon molecules. And because life as we know it is based on coal, Finding this molecule in interstellar space has implications for our understanding of how life can come and grow in others the parts of the galaxy. Results of research that appeared in the journal Nature, they provide not only insight into the chemistry of the fledgling planetary systems, but in the physics of young stars. These objects emit a lot of ultraviolet light, UV and previously expected that radiation would tear such particles. The star in D203-506, as already mentioned, is a small red A dwarf, and its system is bombarded with strong ultraviolet radiation from nearby hot, young, massive stars. Scientists think that the majority planetary disks pass through a period of such intense radiation UV, because stars tend to form in groups that often they contain massive stars that produce this type of radiation. UV radiation is usually expected to destroy complex organic molecules, which is why this discovery may seem like a surprise. However, the team predicts that UV radiation may actually be a source the energy necessary to create methyl carbocation. After creation, it promotes additional chemical reactions that lead to more complex the carbon molecules. Overall, the team notes that the molecules that see in D203-506, significantly different molecules in typical disks the protoplanetary. First of all, researchers could not detect any traces the water. This clearly shows that ultraviolet radiation can completely change the chemistry of a protoplanetary disk. It can actually play a key role in the early chemical stages of life, Byrne explained. Questions remain about the role of methyl carbolation it plays in interstellar chemistry. 07 